You want to reach greatness? You want to make every single one of your dreams a reality? You want to live like a winner? Well, you got to be willing to grind every fucking day. You got to be willing to put in more energy and more effort than you ever have. That's going to take you reaching the level of what you would normally call your limit and going past it. Because every limit you have is one that you set yourself in your own mind. You've accepted it as your standard at one point or another. So now is the time to decide that you are going to go higher. You are going to work harder. You are going to go further. You are going to raise your game. When you start forcing yourself to go hard, getting up earlier, going to bed later, not letting yourself off the hook when it's the weekend, when everyone else is having a good time, people are going to think you're crazy. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to call you a psycho. They're going to talk shit about you and spread rumors about you and try to tear you down. So what do you do about those people? It's simple. You don't fight back. You don't waste your energy defending yourself. You don't have to say a single word. All you do is grind in silence and let your success make the noise. Your execution, your actions, your completed tasks will speak for themselves. They will be the things that talk the loudest about who and what you are. And when you do this, you become a champion. Champions are built from execution. They aren't made sitting around gossiping about other people's lives and the whatever the hell they're doing. No, they're made by getting shit done. So you don't waste time worrying about what everyone else is doing or what anyone else thinks of you. You just do whatever the fuck it takes to get whatever the hell you want. It's easy to beat most people and get ahead. Why? Because the world's lazy. That's where you gain the advantage. Everyone will talk about it, they'll post about it, they'll make plans about it, but nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. Most people quit at the slightest struggle. Most avoid the hard yards. They won't spend extra time studying. They won't push past their comfort. Because yes, it's tough, it's grim, it's solitary, and that's my edge. That's where I separate myself from the crowd. When you're grinding away in the dark hours, when everyone else is sleeping, taking time off, chilling out, and you're working your ass off, you get miles ahead of everyone. You're going to get to the point where you are so much further ahead of all those people that they don't even understand how you can get that much stuff done. And the secret to your success is going to be blood, sweat, and tears. Because nobody ever gets anywhere great with an easy ride. You got to be willing to work like hell in order to get there. The best in the world at anything did not get there by mistake. They keep working and keep working and keep working and never take their foot off the gas. They never stop. They never quit. And they never allow anyone else's opinions or criticisms of what they're doing with their life steer them off course. They shut all of that shit out and focus on getting the work done. And when you see those people judging you and ridiculing you, you want to know the best way to shut them down? You kill them with massive success. You prove them wrong with results. Because nothing succeeds like success. Who cares what they say? Just execute. Who cares what they think? Just execute. Execution is worshipped. And when you get it done, you'll show the world what you're really made of. When you start acting in your best interest and going above and beyond everyone else, you're going to lose some friends. Not every, everybody is going to approve of you. There's some people that won't like you. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than all of us. You're arrogant. What do you think you can do? You're selfish. When you hang around average people, all you're going to hear is average thoughts and opinions. They don't speak a winner's language. All they're going to tell you is what they think is possible based on their own limitations they've set in their mind. Don't let that shit affect you and your mindset. That's their limits, not yours. It has nothing to do with you. You can do whatever you believe you can do. The only person's permission you need to get it done is your own. You know what crazy means? Crazy means that you have the ability to see things that other people can't. That's what crazy means. And if you're not fucking crazy, you're never going to succeed at anything in life. Everybody has got to be a little bit off. Anybody that's done something great, they don't think like anybody else. 
they can't. And the people that tell you, you can't do it, you know what your response to them is? Watch me. Watch me. You don't realize what you got to give up. I'm brave. What sacrifices you got to make. I'm brave. What promises you got to make to yourself. So I'm brave. You got to work every fucking day. It doesn't end. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you've arrived. Damn, man, how many movies are you going to make? Or how much are you going to do? Like, you do a lot of shit. I say, yes. It's my ambition. Of course. Why not? I love what I do. When people are like, what the f is wrong with this guy? I'm in the right spot of obsession and drive. That's the difference of when you say I want to be something and I don't have no choice. When I want to be something, then you're going to present a lot of broken dreams. When you are destined to do something, the conversation is totally different because it's a lifestyle. Greatness ain't a thought process. Greatness is a lifestyle. It's what you live. It's what you get and breathe. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than your dreams, just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're gonna talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there Though the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around. I have the courage to go after my dream. You can bet against me, bet against me. Tell me it's not gonna happen. Tell me it's gonna fail. I love it. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. Every fucking negative comment should trigger you into productive action. Every time somebody says something to you, you should go do whatever it is that is gonna make them have to eat their words. Right then, right now. When people talk shit about you, you work twice as hard to shut them the fuck up. You don't take advice from sheep when you're a fucking wolf. Cause if you're willing to go through all the battle you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to someone, something and you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no and to earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. We all get knocked out. Life hasn't been a crystal stair, Mary Tom. I've had my haters. I've had people who come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the liar. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. Whatever happens to you, turn it to your advantage. So I have now made that a blessing for me as opposed to a handicap. I went and proved them wrong by engaging in self-study and consciously working to develop myself. So now they have to ask themselves, what were we thinking about? We labeled this guy. Make all these people who are betting against you, all these people who think you can't get it done, make them all feel like idiots for doubting you. And you only ever get to that point through one thing, discipline. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is.
I want to position myself for greatness. I don't know everything. I have not accomplished everything. I'm not where I want to be. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still trying to get better. You've got to position yourself and stop pouting. Stop looking at what other people are getting and look at what they're doing. And if you start doing it, you'll start getting it. You don't get out of life what you want. You get out of life what you earn. I don't want to do game think about Lucy. Lucy, that's an afterthought. Today, change your life by simply your effort. Everything you got, and then see who you are at the end of the day. That's champions. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at BenLionelScott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.